Hi, my name is Heather from Heather's Journals on YouTube. I will soon be creating an Etsy account, hopefully with the same name. Until then, I hope you enjoy all the junk books and scrapbooks and smash books and all the different things that I create and make and I'll have some tutorials and I'll show you around my little makeshift office in the dining room. <laughs> Um, my next project I'm very proud of, and I hope you enjoy. And again, yes, it'll be up on Etsy. And as soon as I get my Etsy account, I will let you all know what it is. Thank you. Bye. Okay, so I do have a very makeshift tripod going on, so I hope it's not too tilted or too uh, annoying to watch. Um, it's very simple. I took a beautiful piece of butterfly paper and I put it all the way around until it couldn't fit and then I found something else equally as beautiful and put that on the back. Um, and I mod podged it with, um, I think it's uh, the mat. I used the mat for this one. Originally it was going to be a fairy journal and um, I just, I got so enchanted with the butterflies that I turned it into a butterfly journal. Um, you could still use it as a fairy journal, maybe a journal in a fairy's eyes, I don't know. I also made up my own binding, or so I think I did. It makes it so instead of the strings coming out of the middle, they come out of the top. Which I like better, because then they can dangle. They're nice and pretty. I have an assorted, pretty, dangly things going on here. Okay. To get started. This is the cover. This is the inside cover. I haven't decided on whether or not I'm going to add a um I can find it. Hold on. Uh I was gonna add a library pocket, but the thing that deterred me a little bit was I do have these tabs, so it's more school like, more um organizing like so I, I might not do that I, I'm not sure yet um, okay so this is the front cover not much going on and then you move to the inside first couple covers I made a multimedia stamp you know like fairy topia thing going over here and I used some confetti to decorate this side stamping of course I made a tag you see that Okay, I'm for the next page. Um, just getting these random things since they don't have many tags out. I thought I had tags out, but looks like they don't. Okay, so that obviously changes as you put it in. It's a um, butterfly punch out, and I backed it with some cardstock to make it more sturdy, and I actually sewed it in. I cheated it. I taped it in, and I sewed it for decoration. It's good tape. Might as well be sewed in. And for the next page, uh, for Christmas, I got a cricket, a cuddle bug, and I'm so excited about it. It lets me cut out these beautiful details, and believe it or not, I cut that out of wrapping paper. So I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's like, um, uh, like magentic. Uh, what's the word? I'll come up with it later. It's very pretty. I love it, and it like. Perfect spot for a photo. Um, more of my Cricut stuff. And another tag I made. I really like the lines on the back. I don't know too many people that can write that small, but if you can, that's kind of cool. Be like a little secret message written all small in a hidden compartment. And as you can see, I did a bunch of um, tags throughout the book. Different colors, but they're all pretty color-coordinated. The whole book is color-coordinated for the most part. Um, you know, we got our dragonflies, and our banners, and our butterflies, and our banners. And I actually made each one of these tags myself. I, didn't, I don't have a punch or anything. I made a template, and I kept making them over and over again because... I only like a certain kind. I only like a certain few tags, and this happens to be one of them. 
Um, and I left them blank, so if you want to write anything, you absolutely can. Um, all my lined paper is actually not printed. It's, hold on one second, one moment. Wait for me just one second. As soon as I figure out how to pause this. <laughs> I use old books that I was never going to use again anyway, and I rip out the pages, but I make sure that the um, signature is still intact. So when you put it in the book, you don't get one piece of paper that you have to worry about how you're going to put it in there. You get two, and it works out perfectly, no matter what the size. It always works out just fine. Um, let's see. What else do I got? more lined paper. Everything is aged, um, coffee dyed, uh, uh, cooked in the oven. Um, most, I'm pretty sure all of the pages, but I don't want to quote myself on this, most of the pages are gone with, done with Tim Holtz around the edges to give it that extra little ancient feel. Um, I did some embossing powder on a lot of the Stamps, like uh, especially these. I think all these are embossed. The one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. They're pretty much all embossed. I, I think they're all embossed. And I put a little sweetheart bag here for whatever you want to put in there. Um, this is graph paper, and I've said this before. Graph paper. If this is going to be your journal, or a visual journal, or an art journal, uh, with a little bit of writing, whatever you want to do with it. Graph paper is the perfect thing to draw on. Uh, it has the little squares there. It makes um, coming up with proportions so much easier. Um, so that's that. Um, the one of my tags, homemade. I used some ribbon as trim and some lace uh, edge cutouts. And again, that is in fact a check spot. Um, and once more, this is in fact a, well, it will get in there. <laughs> uh, this is embossed with my, uh, cuddle bug. It has some gears on it behind the sunflowers, which I thought was darling. Again, with the, uh, Tim Holtz distressing. Um, a lot of people use these sides as tucks. I think it's a little too small. And I kind of like to fold them over and just glue them down or tape them down just to keep the book fluent. So um, instead of going from this page to a completely different page and that page is gone, there's still a little bit of this page laying around. Same here. <laughs> I did some burning in this to make it look more ancient. It was going to be a fairy book, but I really I adore the way it turned out. and I hope someone loves it. I like putting long pages in my books. Um, I like to take a, a little, it's hard to explain, but I like putting long pages in my books because I like, I'm a big list writer, but I don't want my entire book to be devoted to lists. So I like to have the option for a couple of the pages to be like a shopping list or um, a to do list or a Christmas list or uh, just anything, you know, um, cleaning list, uh, things important you have to get done. So I think that would keep things a little organized. Um, this is just, you know, for the piece of paper, you can write whatever you want, a little poem, uh, whatever you'd like. This is another um, doily tuck spot, or the first doily tuck spot you've seen so far. It's just a little corner to really talk about, and it holds a pretty big piece of cardstock or paper, whatever you please. And this is a folder area, which I haven't done anything to this, and I probably will. I'll do it around the edges, I'll poke it, you know, I'll do the good stuff. It is butterfly, so I do want to leave it in. <laughs> Again, I embossed all the letters, I'm pretty sure. <coughs> <clears throat> you can use this as a journaling mat or a photo mat, whatever you'd like, with another little tuck spot with its lace trim. Um, I use some adorable stamping throughout the book. I really do love the stamping in this book. And I made this gorgeous tag. For the first time, I made um, this kind of tag, this multimedia, glittery, 
embossing kind of grass. <laughs> I like it a lot. And you could do anything. You can write here. Um, you could put a picture here and then use the back to write about the picture. Or you could put the picture here and use the front to write about the picture. Nevertheless, it fits so perfectly in this little, you know, junk mail window envelope that I made prettier than, way prettier than it actually was. Um, moving on, this is just some more graph paper. Everything's pretty self-explanatory. Um, some more of the stamps that I love. I love the bicycle stamps. They're really good. I love them so much. Sunflowers. My boyfriend seems to love this. I don't know why. I think it's because it does this. And you see the aged and the burnt throughout the whole thing. You got the butterflies and the flowers down here. And this is my binding, believe it or not. Um, I'll have to show you how I did this. I haven't found it on YouTube. And I think it needs to exist because I get so frustrated when I want my dangly stuff to come from the top. And it's always coming from the middle. Alright. Moving on. You know, everything else is pretty self-explanatory. I did a lot of explaining and I'm pretty sure I'm running out of time. I got like 11 minutes. This is uh, the other part of that junk piece of mail that you could stick stuff in. And another doily spot. Just put that right on the bottom. So on and so forth. This is pretty cool. Um, it's an envelope I made myself. And it has a um, magnet. It's magnetized. And it just has some goodies in here. Nothing crazy, nothing too special. You'll find out when you get it. <laughs> I'll just put that right in there. Um, I like a lot of layering in my book. Well, maybe not too much, but I like it. Everyone can like some layering every now and then. And I love the way this layers. You have the pudgy paper. You have the long list paper. You have the long embossed music paper that's burnt and then you have the bigger paper that looks like a photo belongs in there and, you know i, I kind of like that um these are a little crooked all of my little uh i'll show you at the end they're a little crooked but i, I think it adds to the charm and i gotta move faster yes this is embossed um this is another little tuck spot with the butterfly and yes that went through my cricket as well it has some um gears all around it I got two minutes this says love you this little love letter might go there i love my bikes and another one of the fold outs with an envelope that again you'll see when you get it um perfect little place for whatever you want to write draw uh Put there, paste there, whatever you want to do. And this is actually embossed too, this little thing. Um, and then it's just lined paper. This gorgeous little back thing that I made. Oh, I wish you could see it shimmer. Um, but I made it with my Cricut and I just thought it was darling. And if somebody wanted to write around it in script or even in, in regular, I just think it would look so pretty. I just, I love this journal. And I'm not even done yet. There is yet another um, chuck spot down here. A little uh, feather with a chuck top. And same on the other side. Chuck spot. And then this last thing says, real love stories don't have endings. And I thought that that was appropriate since it's the last page. But that's not all. <laughs> there is also a chuck spot in the very back that I... Um, incorporated with the with the front pages and since it is a manila file full of uh, a manila envelope <laughs> you can put stuff inside as well like uh, for example this um, card that I printed out the library card that I printed out okay so I am officially running out of time and I have to let you go thank you so much for watching